Gigi's, and we're back and better than ever. In this episode, we have your book club and Avid along with pumpkin decorating and who's the winner? Red Hot Project and Last and Found. Where do you go trick or treating? Trick or treat for UNICEF. Student Spotlight, and lastly, the amazing talent show. Come on, Miss Fitch. Let's get right into the episode. I'm here with Holly, Ami, and today we're going to be interviewing them about the yearbook club. What are some plans for this year's yearbook? Um, well, our theme for the book is going to be scribbles. Um, for the cover, uh, we've kind of chosen just going to kind of just say like we are KC 2018 2019. Um, and we're, it's pretty bland, so we're just going to add a lot onto it and kind of customize it to be our own and so that it fits well with our scribbles theme. How much will a good yearbook cost? Um, each yearbook costs $20. When do you guys meet? We meet every month. Yes, like next time. Thanks! And if you have any pictures for this year's yearbook, email emily.meriki at bbsd.org. Our 8th grade average class is doing something called public achievement. On Friday, CU students come and coach us. We separate into different groups and discuss about different issues, like immigration, family separation, racism, sexism, and access to higher education. We discuss how these issues can be solved and what can be changed. The 8th grade average class went to CU on Friday, October 5th. Average students from Centaurus and Andromen, who are also doing public achievement, were there too. We had time to collaborate in other groups, and we listened to adults in our community who are working on our issues. We also ate pizza. Bad. Here. Hey, KAC, I'm Rose. And I'm Isabella. And today we're going to be doing a pumpkin painting contest. These three students will have five minutes to create their very own masterpiece with six paints. And there's a twist. It's finger, finger painting. painting. We're here with Ren, Ada, Tate. Three, two, one. Well, I was looking in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For well, my monster from his lab began to rise, and then suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the match. The match was a match. It was a great dance. And the winner is. Your winner. This week's winner is Kimberly Santiago. She's been demonstrating great girth. Let's go. You won your winner award for this week. Yeah, good, good job. job. Woo! That was great, Kimberly. I think you're showing great girth. Make sure to nominate someone. Bye. What's, What's up, Casey? Today we're interviewing Monse about being on the paper for paper circuitry. Let's, Let's go in. find out more about it. What is paper circuitry? Paper circuitry is where you use copper or metal to um, make things vibrate or make a sound or to make things like light up. How does it feel to be on the newspaper? It feels really fun, I guess, because like you get to be noticed by a lot of people. Would you recommend paper circuitry? Yes, because it's a really hands-on activity and um, you get to collaborate with a lot of people. Thank you, Monte. Hopefully you guys learned more about paper circuitry. See you guys next time. Hey, it's Ben, and today we're going to be doing a Lost and Found update fashion show. Make sure if you see your stuff, come get it. The Lost and Found is right next to the office and the fishbowl. Let's go! Right around the corner. We're going to get some suggestions on where to trick or treat. If you want to know where to go, listen up, Buttercup. Ah! I'm going to the Pearl Street Mall. Yeah, me too. Pearl Street Mall. Pearl Street Mall. I'm going trick or treating at Bakerton. I'm going trick or treating at Mapleton and uh, Boulder High Haunted House. Yep. I'm going trick or treating at Mapleton. Pink City Park. Those were some great suggestions, Casey. Bye, Butter.
Buttercups! Hi, Hi Cubs! Today's a student spotlight day. Ollie Hoffman can solve a Rubik's Cube super fast, so we're going to go get him and he'll solve it. Yeah. last Friday and here's some pilots from each performance. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. 